are about to make history. Seth and I are going to be exploring the real Conjuring House. <laughs> hey, man. What's going on? Dude, this is crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, so guys, this is Corey, and that's your, uh, his wife, Jennifer, and that's Kyler, their kid. Honestly, I mean, from day one, the day we, we closed on the house and moved in, uh, we had that door open up, uh, heard footsteps, our daughter, heard her growl. Hey, a couple nights later, me and her saw our shadow figure. And then he had his incident that kind of bugged him. I uh, saw the blackness. <laughs> what? What is happening? Okay. If I was a skeptic before, what I experienced in the basement of the real Conjuring house changed the way that I look at things forever. We're in the light now, I'm about to enter the actual house in there where we set up two REM pods and there's a full spectrum camera going on. Now we're using night vision camera for the first time. It's not ours, it's Corey's, but it's really cool. I might have to get one of these. Let's do this. Let's shut this door now. This is it. Once this door's shut, this is it. Oh my god. Can you still see? Yeah. I'm not used to this night vision camera. I can, I can literally see you right now. I this can't is insane. Even see. I can't see. Oh my god. Right, me. Turn my light this just... is like straight up Outlast. Bro, I'm freaking out, man. We are walking in the dark of the. Yo. Oh my god. We are walking in the dark of the Conjuring house right now, dude. So guys, for our first investigation, we're using REM pods, and I set them up. One is in the library, and one is by like the living room where everyone would sit down. If you can see, you can see I have one REM pod, we set it up. You can see there's a Raggedy Ann doll next to there. And then you can see our other REM, REM pod right in the middle of the library. Me and Seth is here, and we're gonna just sit down. Dude, it's like, it's weird, it's trippy. I'm using this as a maneuvering thing. I can't see it <clears throat> other than this. Oh. Yo, the door just opened. The door's open. Oh my god, all the way. Yo, I'm freaking out already. Dude, me too. I'm gonna just shut that door you, for good. You saw it, me close the door, right? Yeah, I'm shutting the door all the way. Just freaking me out in here, bro. I'm absolutely petrified, dude. But okay. I, it's okay. Alright. Okay, are we doing this? Yes, sir. All right, so we have two REM pods, and I just kind of want to ask, I mean, I don't know how people actually start these investigations, but I'm going to start by saying, is there anyone here with us today? If so, make the lights go off on the REM pod. We have one in the library. We would love it to go off. If there's anyone here, Please acknowledge us. Make a sound. Again, make the REM pods light up. Walk over the, the devices. You know, this is almost like going fishing. It's like you gotta sit and wait for something to happen. Seriously? can't all happen at the same time, huh? And other rooms could have activity. Activity. We could like take these REM pods and then move upstairs instead. But not yet. That is true. We're gonna give it some time. 
So far, nothing. Seth, you want to ask something? <laughs> Say something? All right. I've never done anything like this before, dude. Yeah, me either, bro. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. If there is anyone here, please make a sound. Let us know you're here. Did you hear that? Where is that coming from? That's coming from the. That's coming from over here. I mean, okay, so that left side, that boom, I think could have been wind, but one of the doors did open over there. I heard a squeak, yeah. Yeah, we heard one squeak, so we're getting somewhere. Maybe we should sit in the library. They did say that the library has a lot of activity. So here's Josh, he's sitting right here. We got a REM pod in the middle of the floor. We got nothing really in the in the living room, so we're gonna try here in the library. Right, okay. Is there anyone here with us today? Okay. It's all about patience, guys. It is. I mean, we're trying to capture authentic, real footage here. I mean, I want this to be legit, not a fake YouTube ghost video. I want this to be real. So if there's anyone here with us today, please make a noise. Activate the REM pod right here. Make this go off. I want to talk to you. So here and there we've had a couple of noises, but we have not actually really seen or heard anything immensely uh, creepy or anything proving that there's anything here. So we're gonna keep trying upstairs here. We're here with all of the gear. We have the EVPs, we have the REM pods, and we have the flashlights. So let's see if we can get anything to happen. Is there anyone here? Who are you? How old are you? Do you care that we are here? Nothing yet. I was thinking about meatloaf a little while ago. Dude, me too. Sriracha with some fat ketchup on it. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Even if we don't catch anything. We still have a video. That's right. We still have meatloaf. And we're, yeah, exactly, we're catching meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna catch meatloaf. So this is obviously our first time ghost hunting, and we're like, are we just going to just find ghosts right off the bat? Like, is it just going to happen at any point? And it was just really kind of, like, a few confusing, maybe a little bit annoying at first, because, like, we're trying to call these ghosts to come and make our REM pod light up, but nothing's lighting up. And we're just sitting here in the dark calling these ghosts to come, and we're not sure what was going on, but nothing was happening. And it was kind of feeding my skepticism. Because, I mean, I've always been a skeptic and, like, not really sure if I believe in, in the paranormal or anything like that. And then um, Corey texted us while we were in the living room in the dark, sitting there with a night vision camera and a REM pod. He's like, yo, don't get discouraged. They gotta warm up to you first. Like, you know, they're, it's as if they're still people. They, you know, if someone walked into your house and they started talking to you, you're gonna be a little creeped out. You know, you're not gonna want to talk to them right away. You're gonna be like, what's going on? He said, don't get discouraged. They have to warm up to talk to you. Talk to them like they're in front of you. That's a good one. Makes sense. Yeah, like, they, they were people, too, so it's not like they're going to be comfortable with strangers right off the bat. Yeah, that's true. We just got to keep trying. I can't wait to bite into meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, on some real stuff, though... On some real stuff right now. If tonight ghost energy does happen, then that means there's an afterlife. So if we died, 
we have something to look forward to. But we don't know that yet <clears throat> until maybe tonight. It would be cool, though. Be more uh, soothing when I die, I guess, to know that hey, there might be something after this. But that'd be cool, but I don't know if that's going to happen yet. But we'll figure this out. Because that'd be crazy. Let's try the other room. All right. You know what I mean? They put the REM pods in the other room. It's really cold in this room. Yeah, actually. It's it's abnormally cold in this room. It wasn't this cold in here before. Actually, you are right. It is really cold in this room. Why is it that cold in this room? This could be good. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, I am freaking cold in this room. It's freezing in this room. Maybe. Uh, I was going to say the wind, but no, it doesn't matter. All right, well, this could be a good thing for us. I'm going to take the EVPs out. Is there anyone here with us in this room right now? Do you hear that? Yeah, I hear that all right. That was footsteps. That was 100%. That was 100% footsteps. 100% footsteps. You think it's... I, I don't know. It's scaring me. Is there anyone here with us in this room right now? That was kind of scary. It was a little bit, actually. I was actually dozing off, and I woke up because I heard it. Nothing. It's weird, man. Like, we hear... We hear the footsteps and stuff. Like that. Mm-hmm. There is someone walking in the room behind us right now. As we speak. In this room right here, someone's walking. 100%. I can hear it. Like it's not even... It's not, it's it's not, not a joke. Bullshit. We were just having a conversation, and someone just walked. Three hours go by, it's about three hours. Nothing's really happening. Maybe we heard some creaks. We did hear walking a few times and that kind of startled us, but nothing was really happening. It wasn't until this other guy, John, comes along. He strolls up in here from Maine. It was, it's their friends, they're staying the night. And he also has a spirit box. And this spirit box is looking really high tech from the other ones. And it's already been, like I said, three hours. And now we're gonna meet this new guy, John, and try his spirit box and see what happens. So now our new friend John came here and he has a sound, what do they call that? Spirit box. Oh, spirit box. Spirit See, boxes. This this. You ever done a spirit box, Josh? I've never done a spirit box, but John's like an expert, people are saying. So we're gonna see what happens. And we're in the middle room again upstairs. Is there anyone in the room you'd like to talk to? Can you say their name? <laughs> no way! You heard that clear as no day! No way! <laughs> He's right here. Go ahead. Okay, the way the spirit bot works is it takes all these frequencies in different channels and it keeps changing them. And it, the only thing that could have been at that moment was maybe the frequency landed on the point where someone's name was Josh and it said Josh, but that's like a 1% chance! Right, like the odds of it being a fluke are a lot lower than it actually being a spirit. And it said Josh so clear. Very clear. Like, Josh. you could not mistake it. I was sitting At the across right the room. Yeah. Across the room and I heard it. And there, everyone else in the room, they're like, oh, that's cool. Like, Because they're, they're used to it. They're ghost hunting forever. These guys aren't skeptics. We're the skeptics here. And then, you know, nothing really happening too much. Some little things you're seeing and nothing too crazy. But then... So Corey took out his non-spirit box as well. We're also trying other things. I can't believe I literally heard my name Josh. Like, clear as day. Seth, I know you heard it, man. Just say you heard it. Dude, I heard it. <laughs> you really did. So quick. All right. I need you to talk to Seth. Hey, Seth. Hey, Seth. Oh, oh, yo! Hey, shut up! Oh, oh, oh. Tell me you heard it. I heard, hey, Seth. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Did you? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll, 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 now it's back on. Uh, hey, Seth. Great up. <laughs> so, you know, we did like a, an hour there. Besides those two things, we're getting little things, but nothing really 
connecting. We're like, okay, that could be a ghost, yeah. as you can see. Nothing groundbreaking. Nothing. But then we said, hey, we've never been in the basement yet. Let's go in the basement. Why not? Why not? We go in the basement. All right, guys, we are going into the basement to try some spirit box sessions and try to get this REM pod to light up. Again, though, if you think about it, this is definitely the oldest part of the whole house. Right. I would think, the, yeah, the basement, so. <clears throat> like, how old do you think these are? No clue. We're in the basement now, and, you know, I'm not getting much. We're trying to make the REM pods go off once again. That's, like, my huge thing of the night, trying to get... Because for me, in my head, if those REM pods go off, it means someone is touching the REM pod. He would not stop. Yeah. All night long. All he would do is talk about the REM, REM pod. So I'm not like, I'm talking, I'm talking the ghost. Touch the REM pod. Touch the REM pod. Nothing's happening. Again, we're trying to go in the basement. Nothing's happening to me, but then what the heck, What's going on with you while I'm trying to get the REM pods go off? Dude, okay. If I was a skeptic before, what I experienced in the basement of the real Conjuring house changed the way that I look at things forever. You see the lights that we set on the ground or over here on the furnace? Would you mind touching those for us just to let us know you're with us? And that's because I truly experienced something firsthand that no one else in that room experienced except for me. So. Josh and Corey are on the opposite side of the basement from where I'm from. I'm That's standing true. here. It's me. Kyler is standing to my right. John is standing to my left. And Jen, Jennifer, yes, she's standing to the left of John. So we're all standing there. You know, I got my Rise Above hoodie on. And I've got my hood on. I got my hands in the sweater pockets. And I'm chilling there in basically the corner of the basement. And I'm just staring at the REM pad, just watching it. And like I'm in deep thought. I don't even remember what I was thinking about. I just remember thinking about something really hard. And then, I know this is gonna sound so crazy and it's gonna sound like I'm faking it, but I don't care because it really happened and it's true. Something just grabbed me. No. Oh my God. Holy what do you sh really? Yeah. What, what do you mean? I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> oh my God, yo, okay, so like something like, I felt like hands touch my, my elbows and like pull me back. Get out of here. I swear to God, I'm, I'm not lying. That was that was creepy. I'm like freaked out right now. What do you think, Kyler? You think that's legit? I don't know. I just don't want that thing to touch me. Okay. Okay. I kind of wanted to do it again, though. There? It's pretty cold over here, actually. Oh, that, was, that. that was like, it was a little scary, but that was really cool at the same time. Now, this is the area that Roger Perrin used to like get felt up. Oh, he, oh, he, oh, he used to like get, he used to feel stuff here? Yeah. Yeah, shoulder rubs and like just caressing his back and stuff like that. It's nothing. It catches people off guard. Right. Huh? It's, it's still What is? I'm being held again. As we speak? Yeah, like it's, it's still happening. As we speak. Yeah. I'm even like kind of pulled back right now a little. Are you sure? Yeah. Like, swear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm like just, I'm trying not to move because I want it to keep happening. <laughs> just let it is it, is it done yet? Nope. Like you swear. I swear, I'm not faking this. <laughs> Are you good yet, or no? Mm-hmm. All right, it's gone. Sorry. Just let me go. Like dead ass. Yeah, dude, I'm not. I'm not faking that. That I was. I was legit like Holy. being caressed on the elbows right there. That's so weird. Back and stuff. It was just soothing to him. And after a long day of work or. He said one time, he sat here for what, 45 minutes? And he, he saw the, where we just came up from the basement. He saw like this white mist right over there in the corner. And he sat there and watched it. And finally he said, look, either come sit down and talk to me or get the f out. And it freaking slammed the door shut, shook the whole house. And he hadn't, he didn't hear from it for what, six months? A long time. Yeah, he well, was like heartbroken like, over it too. Yeah. But the ghost was upset about it. 
Yeah, or those like, like took offense. Yeah. Oh damn. And Roger was like, once he realized what he had done, he like he genuinely felt bad, and there was almost like an emotional attachment. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. So like Seth, now that we're here, we're sitting at the table. Like, explain like what happened. All right, so we were sitting there doing what was it? Was it the spirit box? We were, no, it wasn't. The Not even box. the spirit it box the, yet. No, we the were REM doing pod. the yeah, the, the REM pod. So I'm sitting there. I had my hood on. I'm sitting there with my hands in my sweater pocket. I'm not thinking anything of it. I'm just staring at the, at the box. And then all of a sudden I felt something grab my, my elbows. Very, like, lightly. But the pullback was a little bit, like, jerky. It was a light grab and then I got pulled. It was really, really quick. And I... I it got I got scared for like half a second, so I like pulled myself forward, and I was like, "Oh, like that's when I told you guys what, what happened." And, and I got that. Yeah, and then for the most part. Yeah, and immediately after, I was okay. I was fine. And then the second time, the what second, was that about? The second time, it was the same thing, but it was it was a lot more gentle. It started with both my elbows, and then it was just my right elbow, and then you saw you came over, and I was just like being slowly like kind of. I was swaying back and forth a little bit. It like felt like I was actually being pulled. Huh. It was weird. And right? and so so far we got <clears throat> the hey the hey Josh clear as day. Hey Seth, the freaking spirit box shut it off, and you've been touched. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. The REM pods never got off yet, but that was still some pretty you know dope things we got here. Like I guess it's easy to to fake that kind of thing where like you know you can just like kind of force yourself to come back like slowly or whatever and like right. make it look real but that that really wasn't fake no nah, it didn't look like it no. and the first when you yeah. first did it i caught you towards the end but you just like ran forward and you got scared yeah i was like <laughs> so it seemed it was legit. like a tiny tiny little jump scare right but after that it was like it wasn't bad i didn't feel weird and i was shaking too like it was cold but i wasn't like freezing down there i was shaking because of what i just experienced, experienced. and even they were saying like it was, it was pitch black. They couldn't even actually I, see. I was, me, I was seeing. that I was shivering yeah. and that I was shaking. So, I mean, I, I was genuinely, like, kind of shook about it. But it was cool, nonetheless. Yo. After that, I'm like, now I'm starting to get, like, not frustrated, but, like, yo, like, I'm getting curious. So I go in the basement alone with the camera, hoping that, you know, by, by the way, it was actually kind of scary. But I go in there with just a night vision camera. I get down there and I tell Jennifer upstairs to just shut the lights. She shuts the lights. I'm in the basement now alone in the conjuring house filming myself with that camera and night vision. And I'm just waiting for something to happen. And it was mostly my brain just like scaring me like all these flashes like a ghost is going to grab me. But the whole time, nothing happened. I think it's like when you want something to happen... It's not gonna happen. Right. It's like they know that you want <clears throat> that you want something to happen. Maybe that's or why they're maybe, Yeah, they're maybe they're aware that you're recording and they won't do anything. But that's yeah, you true. you sat there and nothing happened to you. Nothing. Not a single thing. And nothing. that was that was after he convinced me to go in the basement by myself. Take the uh, take this camera, go in the dark, and then just see what happens. Just sit in the dark in the in the basement. Just do it. Like Blair Witch. Yeah, Blair Witch. Come on. I kind of want to do it, but yes. at the same time, I don't. Here, take the camera and go do it. <laughs> right get now. out of my face. Just do it. Let's sit by the well. What's the worst thing? Yeah, Chu, Chu, you should sit by the well. He's, he says that. Right. All right. What? Yeah, see, she, everyone wants you to do it, Seth. You're the one that's been touched. I've been chosen. Yes, so can you do it? It didn't work. It didn't work think, think about it. You are in the conjuring house in the basement alone. That's amazing it to is, say. It is a good, good thing to say. So you're going to do it, right? Please? <laughs> you can do it. You can, you do, can it. do it. You can do oh, it. Man. No pressure. All right. I'm staying down there for like two minutes tops. All right, five minutes, though. Two minutes. Five. You don't know what could happen in five minutes. We're, we're watching from up. We're, gonna, we're, we're listening from up here. You won't be able to hear me down there. Yeah, you're going to scream. We're going to hear you. <laughs> what if I get so stricken with fear, right, that mm -hmm. I just don't say anything, and I'm mm, stuck down there's there? No there way. <laughs> there's no way. Don't look at. You're embarrassing yourself in front of real ghost hunters. That's okay. I I embarrass myself every day. Are you doing I it? Got, I got no shame. All right, go for it. Here. Okay. 
There's a REM pod over there waiting for you. Jesus Christ. Why? I, this is not what I thought my life would be. <laughs> okay. So, I got grabbed down here. Like, legit. I got grabbed. And Josh is like, you know, you should go back down by yourself. I kind of hate his guts for this. I really do. This is like kind of petrifying. So I'm gonna stand here for like two minutes. And if I get grabbed, I'm gonna run upstairs and I'm gonna kick Josh in the throat. Oh boy, okay, nope, nope, nope. That was, that was quick. All right. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep, that was that was really quick. What happened? I grabbed my shoulder again. Are you lying? No, I swear to God, bro. It's I'm going down there. I'm going down there. I went like this and I said, okay. Blah 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 blah. Really? I swear. Dude, I yo, I'm going down there. I don't even need the light. Do you want me turn on the light for the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going down. REM pod. Okay, we're going in the Conjuring's basement right now. Tell me when you want me to set the light off. Okay, I'll let you know in a minute. Um, where should I put this? I'll put it right here. I'll go really deep in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. You can shut it. We're in the Conjuring's house basement, and for some reason, Seth keeps getting grabbed. I don't get it. The REM pod's set up. Nothing's going down right now, though. It's more of a mental scare, scariness for me. But I've been in so many other abandoned asylums that it's different. If there's anyone here, please touch the light in front of me or the antenna. Seems like they don't want me. Man, it's so dark in here, I can't even see. But there's the REM pod I keep talking about. It's so dark. If there's anyone here, can you please make the antenna go off? Can you touch the antenna in front of me? If there's anyone here, can you please make a sound? You know, it was cool down there. <clears throat> but nothing touched me. <laughs> it likes you, man. I was hoping it's if it's real, it really likes you. So it seems like whatever was in that basement or who it was they like actually wanted you or liked you or something they, cho that's they chose like. you they chose like. me yeah. over and over above everybody and i don't yeah. understand why but i mean it was a, it was a crazy experience aside from the video just to be there in real life and uh, to have that experience was crazy you know after all this is happening you know seth getting touched they're saying our names we're like what's next <clears throat> <laughs> how can this get any crazier and then I'm like, well, let's do the Ouija board. I asked uh, Johnny. Johnny said, yeah, I'll do the Ouija board with you. But then the other house, the house owner itself, Corey, was like, you know what? Don't even do the Ouija board. It's not needed. And it might even just be overrated. And I started thinking a lot about the Ouija boards and how a lot of YouTubers are using Ouija boards mm -hmm. and all these things. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Ouija boards are kind of overrated. And they're kind of easy to fake. Yeah. And I feel like it's just not worth doing because so many people are doing it. They're faking it half the time. Right. We're trying to make a real freaking ghost video. And why not show like this more to catch ghosts or show ghosts without even using a Ouija board? And that was the whole thing about this video. And it was a great thing that we didn't use the Ouija board because what came next was insane. And you it, could not fake this. It was legit. Yeah. Can you explain to me exactly what's going to happen with me right now? Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to put these real cool pink headphones on you. I dig it. Because they're uh, noise-canceling. And we're going to blindfold you. And 
we're going to basically just immerse you in a spirit box session. So the spirit box is going to play and you're just going to, you're going to call out whatever you hear coming through the spirit box. And we're going to ask questions and see if we can actually get responses to the questions we're asking based off of something that you don't know what we're asking. It's going to fuck up your head. Sorry, did you touch his head? No. I swear to God. I'll, I'll get you on camera. If you no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you touched a little hair I had left in my head. Right. That's from a badass race. Wear it proud. Ass. Wow. Wish me luck. It's going in. So now the only one that, the only one that hears the spirit box is Seth. Yes. And so we ask questions, and hopefully Seth says something back that can relate with our question. Hopefully. How many people are here with us? Seven. How many spirits? Fun. What's fun? Everything. Oh. Yo. <laughs> That's crazy. Everything like, can you give me an example? Sniper. Okay. <laughs> That's Ooh, sniper what? Did you kill somebody with a sniper rifle? You. That's kind of scary. I don't like that response. <laughs> Why me? Hey, watch your face. Watch your face. Hmm. Is there something we should worry about? Yes. Duped. Think of we need to worry about. Everything. Fair enough. Are there any bad spirits in the house? You can answer me. Are there any bad spirits in the house? Anything we need to worry about? Previously. So it's not here anymore? Are you okay with people being here overnight to investigate? You're a <laughs> well, I feel stupid. <laughs> Why'd you say that? <laughs> Why did you say that? Because I could. You're a straight dark. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? All right. Why are you here? Why are you here? Run free. I'm not running. Clearly. They're here. Who's here? You talking about aliens? What's that? <laughs> Outer space. You come from a different planet. Mystery. Are you guys from this world? No. Oh. Whoever came through the box and he just stepped back through the box, you can't stay in the box, <coughs> understand? Thank you for talking to us. And we'll talk to you later. Get down. Cool. Bro. That was, wow. that was actually really good.
That was the coolest stuff ever. Insane. Dude, they want you, man. Everyone in this house wants So I've yeah, tried it, and now Josh wants to try it. He's after, super after curious. That, I just have to try it. And I don't know if it's going to work, but we already have footage that works. That was actually, you can't even make it, that one up. Like, that was just flowing too good. Yeah, it was, an, it was weird, because, like... I couldn't actually hear oh, yeah. what they were asking, what they were talking. All I could hear is what the no, spirits were saying, so it's like, it. I only know like I'm half ready. the conversation, so everything they're telling me, I'm like, what? This is insane. Um, Alright, if it's too loud, just say something. I'll let you know. <clears throat> what color is Josh's sweatshirt? Red. Holy sh- <laughs> But can you make it this even louder? Sometimes. <laughs> I got it. I got it, Josh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Dude. You guys have you guys in the whole Dude. Dude. No. There's there's something right there in front of us. So it's really going on. That was awesome. He's like, what's going on? Yo, I thought someone got possessed. No, this is actually crazy. This is actually Dude, it's going. still going. This is what you wanted. This is what I, this is what I wanted. Now I'm freaked out. So, oh my god. I mean, it's when we started doing the spirit box too, though. There's someone just sitting in front of the door. As we speak, now. right, like right now. Yeah, it's you just chilling, dude. It, it took us so long for this to go off. This is no joke. We're okay. having this conversation, and this thing is still going off. Like, <laughs> it won't stop. Oh my god, that's you can't fake it. No. He, so he's poking it, and it's still going off. Like he's trying to get it to stop. Every time we've but it's done still that, going. It stops right after. Now it's done. It, it, it like just like a. It was holding it. Thank oh, you. Yo, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. What's the person? Yo, this is legit. There's a lot of activity happening right now. Like a lot. I know. I mean, we asked them to do the red pot for like two hours. They're probably pissed off. They're probably like, you want it? You're going to get it. <laughs> yeah. We heard the footsteps. Oh, let's go. You guys heard that too, the footsteps. I didn't. Oh, dude. I, I did. I heard it. Right? Exactly. And he heard it too. So after what? Like, what do you think? What time did we come in here? Probably about 3.30. 3 yeah. After like eight or nine hours of nonstop ghost hunting, we had like a first like disencouragement, and he texted us like, "Don't get this discouraged. Like, things will happen. You're just warming up." Because we kept trying for so long to just ask the same question as everybody here, and trying to get those REM pods to go off, and they just weren't going off. And I was like, "I don't know, man. Maybe this just ain't our day, or maybe we're just too young. I don't. I didn't know if anything was gonna happen." And then you know, um, sure enough, you know, we all get together. We try the spirit box with John, and that was kind of getting things warmed up. Then we go inside the basement, and Seth over here got touched, which you can see him actually moving around, and he's holding his camera. And it, it was actually getting, okay, this is getting serious then. Then you said you went down by yourself and you got touched, which I have to see that footage myself. Well, over this edit, we're gonna see it anyway. And then what really actually like stuck out, and I was like, okay, this is serious, is when you put the, the blindfolds on, and then all of a sudden, like everything we were answering, the question, like asking you, you were responding back with the right answers. Like, or, or when they said our name, when they're like, hey, hey, Josh, when, when John asked. Instantly. Right away, instant Josh. Clearly, Inst too. It's the same with you. When you, when, you held, when you held the spirit box to you, you said, hey, Seth. And he and shut it off. Shut it off. And I'm like, okay, this is actually getting real. <laughs> this is actually getting something. It's like as soon as John came, yeah. they, everything, yeah. everything yeah. started yeah. getting real. Comes. You said you asked me the, the sweatshirt, what color it was, and I just said red. 
Instantly. Instantly. But then the freaking REM pod finally goes off. Yeah. And then you didn't see off, I don't know if you've seen on camera, but Corey over here rips off my headphones. I'm like, oh, snap. And I look and I see the freaking REM pod going off. And I'm like, okay, it finally happened. But it makes sense because we just like, harvest that energy and all of a sudden like doing this here and it was all working. So, I don't know, man. That's pretty cool. I mean, no one touched me, but that was actually a pretty amazing experience with you guys. And it was my first time ever doing a ghost adventure, ghost hunt, whatever you guys want to call it. But I had like a lot of fun at the Conjuring house. I appreciate it, guys. Really. It was amazing. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. It was an incredible experience. Video out of the question either. Like, it was just cool to just to be here. It was amazing. Do you know people like I see online like, like I want to go to Conjuring House or all this, and here we are, we're here. So I, it's a great experience. I think I think it was a good opportunity. I appreciate you reaching out for us. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's funny enough because I don't know if I said this, but he seen my video on YouTube of me standing outside of his house with a camera, <laughs> and so it's cool that he reached out. It worked out perfect. Oh, thanks, man. For, for real, I appreciate no it. No Thank, you. No Thank you. It's probably good that we we pack up our stuff now. <laughs> And Before we get possessed, it. I'm actually getting so tired. It's actually pretty tedious. It it's is. like it really yeah. is like fishing for like like you know, a hit. Hangover yeah. the next day. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll have a, you'll have a hangover. In the but morning. you know what? Like I actually learned some experience from you guys. I learned like these new techniques. But now I'm just like I kind of want to like keep going. It kind of is addicting. Do you have I'm anything else on your list? I mean, I think we're packing up, Seth. So. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone that leaves from doing an investigation here signs the wall. And if you can see, Ghost Adventures were actually here. So that's pretty sick. Right up there. Yurt! Was that Zach that signed the wall? Like, first hand? Or... Yeah. yeah. That's Zach amazing. He signed it Zach. You guys are really good for just being here for a few hours, you know? <laughs> that was so fun. Thank you guys again so no much. Problem, guys. Have a great night. Sleep good. No one goes to real. <laughs> Peace out. Thank you. See you guys. Josh, we just, did, we just explored the Conjuring House. Just explore, oh, I can't get over it. And I really we, can't get over it. And on top of exploring it, dude, we experienced actual paranormal activity. For the first time, I think we really did. I 100% know we I mean, I know we did. I can't explain it. I mean, I want to find a reason not to, but it, it did happen. I don't know, man. I can't get over it. We need to go back. We just got to get freaking home. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. We just got to get home. Let's just go home. Let's just go home, man. <laughs> I'm like, right. I don't know what to believe anymore. Like, I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I know I experienced what I experienced in the basement and all that other stuff, but like, I don't know if I believe yet. I feel like I need more. I mean, I, I need it's an more addiction, proof. bro. I know, we need more. And that's the thing. That's why we we created this series now. It's becoming more of a, a, a hobby and a, a real, like, passion on the side is trying to, like, create, like, a documentary now, our ghost reel. And that's another thing we're doing with this series, Beyond the Dark. Like, we're going to do all these things, and it's crazy, and it's interesting. And it's a whole other thing that this we're not even used to, but we're doing it for you guys and for us. Yeah, I mean, you know... Exploring abandoned places. I mean, we know we that's know right, how to do life. that. We've been doing that. You've been doing that. It's another side now. And now we're like crossing over into another dimension where, like previously, there were people on YouTube who tried to combine the two things. They don't belong together. No, they're two completely different entities, and y y that's why this Beyond the Dark series is separate from all the abandoned stuff that he does, that I do, that everyone in our crew does. We we want to take this seriously because we want to prove to ourselves, to you guys, to the world that if ghosts are real then we got you and if it's not real we can prove that it's not real as well exactly but <laughs> after <laughs> that i don't know i don't know how to how yeah. to not believe but i don't know how to believe either it was out all night after that i was just thinking about it all of us were all night i was like, creeped what? out all night yeah i was a little creeped out even yesterday night i was creeped out so explorers one last thing if this video can get how much likes you think out of that how many likes do you I don't you know. I don't know how Josh. much likes I usually get. Let's give it like a ballpark. I don't know. Let me check right now how much likes I usually get average. Stand by, please. Okay. If this video can get 30,000 likes, mind you, I don't get crazy likes like other YouTubers. If this video can get 30,000 likes, if you guys share this video and you can get 30,000 likes on this video, we will go back to the Conjuring House and we will stay the night and we will not only do the Ouija board though, just to do it, but we'll do every Bruh. other kind of ghost activity you can possibly do at night obviously as the night gets older 
be, you know, 3 a.m., which hour would hit by then? I, we've never even been there to do which hour. What's going to happen if we stay the night and do that? We don't know, but we will go back and stay the night. It depends how this video does. Get it there. 30,000.